Welcome back to Defenders of the Last Stand. This will be the finale because I have a funny feeling if we do not take out Bramble right now with Frank, uh, we're going to get an overrun. If we get an overrun, we only have one oil and ammo depot left to place on the board. If we place one, we lose the game. So there's that. All right, let's take a quick look at Frank's cards. He has two wounds as well, so he only has five actions. He does have a grenade, but it's a Bramble grenade to try and blow up some of these oil and ammo depots. I don't think we want to do that. We could take a Bomba and puke uh, shield, two shields cards and get a special card. We might go ahead and do that because that's not going to bother us much. And we do have two cross gun symbols. We have a puke one and we have a bramble one. We can knock bramble down one health by doing that. So the first thing we're going to do, we are going to cash in the two shield cards. They're not going to do us any good for the fight against bramble. So we might as well use them as a special card. Boom, that's going to give us extra dice as well, I believe. So let's take a look at the special card because that'll help us to take out Bramble. And we get <coughs> Sabotage, Discard to Destroy. An oil, oh, an oil and ammo. Oh, wow. Discard to Destroy all oil and ammo tokens on a single location. Ha! Huh. Uh, or gives us two dice for a leader. Wow. Hmm. Now we could actually wipe out. We have uh, three locations with two oil and ammo depots in them. Or do we just want to go for the win? All right, let's go over to Frank's area. We're going to take a look at what he's got as far as actions and art, uh, artifacts, abilities, and then we will get to him taking his actions. All right, Frank. So he only has five actions because he has two wounds. He took that, uh, took the wounds, taken out Crank, of course. Trapper ability, we know, I'm not going to go over that. He's already used his tokens. Last one's at US Air Base. Monstrosity Hunter, we're not going to worry about that. Puke is dead. We don't care about that anymore. He does have Painting the Ancient God. Uh, draw one extra Defender card at the end of your turn. He also has Portrait of an Ancient Goddess, which is he can discard any one card and just draw another one. We might want to do that. Uh, maybe get another Bramble card if we're lucky. He has Visions. Uh, he can bounce one of the Raider cards. I don't know if that's enough to have a stop getting an Overrun. We do have Sabotage we just picked up, which we could possibly use to just wipe off Two oil and ammo depots right off the board, uh, and hope we don't get a bunch of overruns and get three added. All right, um, back to the board. We're going to start having Frank taking his actions. All right, so Frank only has five actions. We're taking a look at his cards. We're not going to discard one card to draw another one. We have actually two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight possible dice to roll against uh, Bramble if we use the special card. Uh, and we have a couple of puke cards. I don't want to get rid of this one though to draw a card because we want to use the two cross gun symbols to knock Bramble down one health by using Sabotage. <clears throat> so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to use the puke kite card. That's going to give Frank the ability to move four spaces, crossing solid lines if he has to. That's going to take him right to Bramble. That's his first of five actions. So one, two, three, and four. He is now in the space with Bramble, ready to take Bramble out. Uh, but before he can take Bramble out, we have a Road Rage Gang and a Techie Mob there. So we're going to zoom in. He's going to do battle and get try and get rid of them. Remember, he was the one that took out Bama. <clears throat> so to take out Road Rage Gangs, now he only needs to roll a 3+. plus. It's also a 3+, plus for the Techie Mobs. So let's get out the dice tray and get rolling. And see if Frank can wipe them out and then attack Bramble. All right, Frank has four actions remaining. So it boils down to, he has basically three actions to try and take out the Techie Mob and the Road Rage Gang. Remember, we only need a three plus on both of these. So uh, his second of five actions and boom, done. He gets rid of the Road Rage Gang. He gets rid of the Techie Mob, leaving himself and Bramble alone. <clears throat> which is good. I don't know why my throat is dying this morning. Fantastic. All right. Uh, I guess for his third action, he's going to just going to go ahead and attack Bramble. And so he's going to be using all of his dice. Uh, oh no, wait a second. No, the first, his action right now, third action, is to use the cro two crossed gun symbols. That's what he's going to do for a sabotage action against Bramble. And when you do that, you can reduce the health of any one leader by one. So he takes Bramble from two health down to one health. <coughs> Excuse me. And Bramble's special ability, in case we've forgotten, 
uh, is a mighty priestess. Attacking rangers must roll at least one unmodified six result, or all hits rolled are blocked. Okay, let's gather up our dice and see what we've got. So, uh, Frank's going to have one, two, three, four, five. Sorry. He's going to have one, two, three, four, five for cards. And he is going to cash in his special card to give him two more against any leader. That is seven dice. Seven. He's going to be rolling against Bramble. So there's uh, four, five, six, seven dice. We only need to hit Bramble one time. We need to get a four plus, but one of these has to be a six. If it is not a six, then the attack fails. Bramble survives, and this could be very bad because if you lose to Bramble, each Rager in the battle suffers three wounds and rolls a d6. On a four plus advance, Bramble one location toward last uh, stand. Uh, two new and add two new Earther war parties, which would be a overrun if we lose the game. So, <laughs> basically what this what this boils down to, if we do not roll a six right here, uh, Bramble will just kind of get stomped over top of Frank, and we'll lose the game. So it, it comes down to, after hours and hours and 32 episodes of gameplay, it comes down to one dice roll. All right, we need a six. I should do this one at a time. There's our six! <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh my god. All that build up. <clears throat> wow, and that was our only six, too. So basically, Frank uh, just jumps up on the top of this, kills the giant ox, and takes out Bramble. And we have defeated all four leaders. Wow, and that was actually one, two, three, four. That was four hits as well. Uh, and Bramble only had one health left. So Bramble is toast. And that's the end of the game. And just in case you wanted to know what we do, uh, conversely, if the Ragers defeat Bramble, each Rager gains three Defender cards. And we might as well take a quick boo at the back of the Slayer of Bramble. It's considered a demon by the Earthers upon entering the location, whereas they permanently flee, removing from the board. No action is required. Uh, when Bramble is slain, draw three cards for each Ranger and distribute them among Rangers. So, boom! Unbelievable. This was... Uh, this was not my longest episode, or my longest series by episodes, Dawn of the Zeds. Second edition was actually 35 episodes, so some of them were like 3 or 4 minutes. Uh, this was 32 episodes, minimum of like 9 or 10 minutes. Definitely the winner as far as length goes. Anyway, I had a lot of fun playing this. Uh, we came like this close a couple of times to losing. And yeah, if we wouldn't have rolled uh, a 6 there to take out Bramble... Bramble would have moved in here. We would have had an overrun. We only had one oil and ammo depot on the board. At one point, we only had one uh, monstrosity left to put out on the board. And we also had Bama. If we hadn't taken Bama out when we did, he was going to move right into last stand and us lose the game as well. So, again, a very close game. We came so close to losing, but Midnight Pearl and Frank pulled it out of the fire. Using the Lightning of the Ancients, we managed to take out all four leaders. All right, that's going to be it. So, uh, yeah, um, a little anticlimactic, although it was it was down to a dice roll. Seven dice, we needed one six. We didn't get the six, we would have lost. We got the six, we won. So there we go. Way to go, Frank. When it, when it came down to it, he made the dice roll. That counted. All right, what's coming up next? Um, I have a couple. I actually have uh, four different games I'm thinking of doing, but I'm not going to tell you what they are, of course, because that would be no fun. You're just going to find out. When I begin my next series, which will probably come out kind of like this one did, not every single day. I really do like getting the videos out every day, but it is very difficult um, for me to do that. Of course, it is uh, now summertime, and in the summertime when I'm filming, a lot of people are taking vacation at my workplace, and it ends up uh, with me working five days a week. Hence, I'm working five days this week, I'm working five days next week, and I do believe that week after that I might even be working six days. So, yeah, vacation time is upon us, and... Uh, yeah, so I, I will try and get the series out as quickly as possible. Once again, I thank you so much for watching along. This was so very long. If you made it to the end, I congratulate you. Thank you so much for uh, hanging in there. Uh, Raiders are Raiders. Defenders of the Last Stand. Very, very cool game. Uh, I like it. It's, it's fun. It's not super, super complicated. It's uh, 
not always easy to win. We got, I guess we got kind of lucky, but it was super close. All right, thanks so much, and we're going to see you next time, hopefully sooner rather than later, for another complete board game playthrough series. Uh, like I said, I've got a choice of four. Maybe I'll roll a die off screen and just get going on it. So thanks so much, and we'll see you next time for another complete playthrough series.